And as I say, the youngsters from Sweden have really I turned up. My words after that. Oh, the young kids are might not do so well. <laughs> Comment from the first the Young kids are exactly what they have to be in crowd. <laughs> The seventh seeded Swedish national team did the impossible. After beating Denmark and Norway in rounds one and two of the WCA European Nations Cup, they went on to beat France, the number one seeded France, with notable Cubers Juliette Sebastian and Alexander Carlier, both of which were world's finalists. Sweden earned the bronze medal in the Rubik's Five-a-Side event, and almost no one saw this coming. The Swedish national team hadn't performed at a world-class caliber in previous championships. They had decent success in the 2017 World Championships, only to tragically lose to Poland in the Sweet 16. This success was masked in 2019, where Sweden only managed to narrowly beat out Taiwan and lost to one of the United States alternate teams in the following round. One of the main reasons for Sweden's success in the nation's event in Euros 2022 was a new format. Nations would send their five fastest cubers. The slowest two from each team would go head to head. Then the second slowest two would go head to head, all the way down to the fastest. Whichever team won three out of the five head to head matches first would win the round and move on. Since Sweden had a lot of depth on their roster, they were able to pick up many wins on the slower side of the round. For example, Denmark clearly had a faster front two, beating out the Swedish by over a half a second each. You see, in a previous relay format, Denmark would actually have a better matchup. Denmark's collective five had a time of 29.12 seconds, which beats out Sweden's collective 29.52 seconds. If this was a relay, by the numbers, Denmark would actually have the better matchup. But this format doesn't allow for one or two cubers to carry a team's collective time. Instead, it values depth on a roster. And the back three men for Sweden swept Denmark. This depth in Sweden's roster allowed for the back three to get early wins in all their winning rounds, sealing victories against Norway and France. This made it so Daniel Wallen, Sweden's frontman, never had to face Juliet Sebastian to beat France. The only team Sweden lost to was Germany, who ended up winning the whole tournament. But what Sweden proved was that any country with just a little depth, some tenacity to never give up on a solo, some luck, and the right tournament format could do the impossible. 